Welcome to Vattenfall's Ray Wind Farm near Otterburn in Northumberland in the northeast of England. Ray is a 16 turbine wind farm which began operations in 2017. It has an installed capacity of 54.4 megawatts. It was built on the country estate of Victorian engineer Charles Parsons, inventor of the compound steam turbine and founder of the Newcastle and District Electric Lighting Company in 1889. On average each year, this wind farm can produce enough electricity to meet 10% of Northumberland's power needs. In fact, on an average day, Ray is producing enough electricity to power the nearby towns of Hexham, Ponteland, Morpeth and Cramlington. There are staff on site almost every day overseeing operations at the wind farm. Just like a car, turbines need regular maintenance from skilled technicians to keep them in top condition. Many of the technicians who work at Ray come from a regional service centre in Washington and work across the northeast. Wind farms require a lot of investment to build and maintain. Ray costs £90 million to build. This includes everything from turbine towers and blades to foundations and tracks, electrical cables and substations. During operations, maintenance costs will include everything from repairs and replacements to fencing and snow clearance. It will cost around £60 million to service during its 25-year operational life. The vast majority of this is expected to be spent on UK businesses and there are significant opportunities for local suppliers. We already have over 250 suppliers based in the north of England on our books. These wind turbines are held in place by gravity foundations, large steel reinforced concrete blocks. In other geological conditions, turbines can be anchored directly into the bedrock. Hollow steel towers give the turbine its height. There are usually three tower sections which are lowered into place by a crane and bolted together. Raised towers are 73 metres tall. This is almost twice as tall as Gray's Monument in Newcastle. Ongoing technological development will allow taller towers and larger blades to reach faster wind speeds at higher altitudes and to generate more power. On top of the tower sits the nacelle. Here the three blades are attached to the hub. This nacelle is roughly the same size as a double-decker bus and at 112 tonnes weighs about the same as a herd of 18 elephants. The nacelle can spin around on the tower in any direction to face the wind, something it does independently. Each of the blades is just over 50 metres long and 4 metres wide at its widest point. Each blade weighs 12 tonnes. Like the sails of a ship, the three blades catch the wind to allow us to convert kinetic energy into electrical energy. The blades can also turn within their sockets to catch more or less of the wind depending on the wind speed or whether we want to stop the turbine entirely. Many modern blades also have a serrated tip like a bread knife to reduce the noise as they pass through the air. This is the same basic principle that allows an owl to fly almost silently. Ray Wind Farm also has a battery storage system added in 2022. This allows us to store up to 45.5 megawatt hours of electricity if the wind farm's output is more than needed on the grid. We can then export the stored power later when demand increases. On a full charge, this battery system can hold enough electricity to power nearly 3,000 typical households for a full year. It takes two hours to fully charge, with a single charge able to power 23,000 ovens for an hour. These technicians are entering the turbine to undertake some maintenance. The tower section contains a lift and a ladder for emergencies. Cables carrying power and data from the generator also travel down the tower before passing underground to be collected at the site substation. In the nacelle is the electrical generator. The movement of the blade turns electromagnets inside a copper coil. This generates an electrical current through the phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction, which is eventually delivered to the national grid at 33,000 volts. This is how almost all power stations work, although in this case, no fossil fuels have been burned to turn the turbine. At Ray, 
Vattenfall has established a community benefit fund of over £250,000 a year to spend on community projects within 10 kilometres of the wind farm. This fund is overseen by local people and has supported a wide range of projects so far, such as refurbishment of village halls, buying books for local schools, funding a red squirrel ranger, and has even funded the refurbishment of a local pub run by the community. But it's not just people who benefit. Ray has an active habitat management plan, which has seen the ongoing restoration of 90 hectares of peatlands and 40 hectares of heather. That means an area covering the equivalent of 180 football pitches is being actively managed on site for the benefit of local wildlife, such as the Merlin, who have successfully bred on site every year since operations started. In five years of operations at Ray so far, we have saved over 300,000 tonnes of CO2 from entering the atmosphere.